guys, today I am taking on a hairstyle that I have been putting off for six or seven years, ever since it was hugely requested, but I am ready to do it now, and I have done it. This is Hermione Granger's Yule Ball hair look. I think I've got it down quite well. It is not an exact replica, because the thing is incredibly complicated, and I have actually... I have looked at countless pictures, and I think, I suspect, largely, that it was filmed on two separate days, and they are actually two separate hairstyles, because there was one single thing that I couldn't match up with the different pictures. Hermione's Yule Ball look, just in time for Valentine's Day. I think this is a very romantic kind of date night, fancier date night look, and it's not actually that hard to do. So if you want to know how to do the Hermione Yule Ball look, then keep on watching. I am going to start by spraying my hair with some heat protector, because I'm going to curl it. So when I've sprayed it, kind of distributed it throughout all of my hair, I'm going to separate out a section at the bottom of my hair, and I am slowly going to start curling my hair. And I'm doing about four sections per layer of hair. You don't have to be too precise with this, because this is just going to be the curls that are going to go into the updo. So I'm just going to curl all of my hair, Starting with the bottom layers, working my way up. Until everything is nice and curled. Okay, then I'm going to take a red tail comb and I'm going to make a diagonal parting starting from the side of my face and going diagonally backwards. And I'm going to kind of finish off this section by pulling it down towards my ear and I'm going to clip this away just for now. We're going to work on this later. So just clipping it away to keep it out of the way. So with the rest of the hair, I'm going to separate out a section at the top, about from my temples going straight back, and I'm going to clip this up as well. And then make one more dividement from right behind my ears all the way to the center, and this I'm going to smooth on the sides and gather this into a high ponytail. I'm going to tie it off pretty much in the center in between those two sections that I made. I'm going to pull that bottom hair to the side for now, and this ponytail is going to be the base of my hairstyle. So I'm taking down that top section of hair and I'm going to smooth this back and this is going to be my poof part. So I'm going to take the back of this and back comb it. Now I don't want to go too crazy with this because it's quite a subtle poof or at least I don't like mine too big and it doesn't look too big on Hermione either so I'm keeping this, you know, quite normal, <laughs> normal sized. I just back comb this and then I'm going to smooth over the front sections of hair and I'm going to smooth it backwards in the opposite direction of where my diagonal part is. So just make sure this is pulled back really nicely and then I'm going to pin it down with a couple of bobby pins in the back. And again just making sure everything looks nice from the front and using more bobby pins if necessary. Alright, so then it is time to work on the bun, and to make the bun I'm going to just take a thin section of hair and kind of wrap it around my fingers just once to form this little loop of hair as it were. And then I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin this down to my head so that the tail of hair is pinned towards my scalp. And you get this nice little loop, and then I like to kind of pull this outward to make it a little bit longer. And for the bun, I'm pretty much just going to make a bunch of these, and I'm not going to pay too much attention to where I place them, just go pretty much randomly, and if you like, you can check in the mirror every now and then to see if you like how they are placed, but just keep making these little loops and pinning them down. until you've used up all of that hair in that ponytail. So yeah, like I mentioned, just check in the mirror every now and then, see if you like where this is going, and if not, just adjust it. Just keep going until you use up all the hair, making these little loops. 
Okay, so when that's done, I'm going to once again pull that bottom hair to the side and then I'm going to use a bobby pin there to kind of swoop it diagonally upwards and pin it right underneath that bun. And this is going to ensure that it really stays on that one side. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to work on the front of my hair and this I'm going to comb backwards. Again, in the opposite direction than where my, where my poof has gone in. And just kind of arrange this nicely on the side, make sure that the swoop is pretty, and then pin it back towards, or kind of pin it to that bun that I already had. And then I'm just going to take all of this hair and make one more final roll with this. Like all the others that I've done. And just pin this down as well. Okay, so then the final thing there's left to do is to pull out a couple of pieces of hair, kind of face framing bits here, like Hermione has as well. Then go back with my curling iron and just curl these to create those pretty little spiral curls. Be very careful when curling this hair because this is very thin and fragile usually, so don't hold it on your curling iron for too long. And then I just went back and re-curled all of that hair that is still hanging loose. I uh, just took slightly smaller sections to make these curls into slightly kind of tighter spiral curls as well. The smaller the sections, the tighter the curl. And then the very last thing there's left to do is to take a hair jewel embellishment thingy or two, three, however many you like, and insert that in the places where she has them as well, and then your hairstyle is all done. And that's it, there is your Hermione Yule Ball hair done. It is really not that hard as it looks and it looks very impressive and I am so happy I finally got to do this hairstyle because I've been wanting to do this for years. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more hair tutorials. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!